Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing the Mont Blanc Heritage Mono Pusher Chronograph 2020 100-piece limited edition. So this is the 2020 version of a watch that originally bowed in 2019. What's different here? is the use of an extravagant salmon dial and the 100-piece limited edition. Now, don't confuse this with the 2019 Pulsograph. That had a pulsometer scale. There is no pulsometric scale on this one. It has a larger, more open dial that's less confined by the outer track. So, that said, the watch is stainless steel, 42 millimeters in diameter. It's 14.8 millimeters thick, and it's 51.6 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The limited edition looks good on my wrist, though I will say this, if your wrist is much smaller than mine, it's going to look too large. Though inspired by the Minerva chronographs of the middle of the 20th century, the fact is this is very much a product of the 21st century, so 16 centimeter circumference wrist or greater. You can see it'll fit underneath a jacket cuff, if not the tightest of dress sleeves. Taking a look at the strap, Mont Blanc certainly hasn't shorted us the material. There's a little bit of a gradient here. We have a light gray center and then a black edge. Gradients normally seen on dials, rarely on straps, but it's quite attractive. We have medium rectangular scale alligator leather, and we have a sheer cut flank with a monotone stitch and then on the bottom. There's calf skin. You can see this is a Mont Blanc factory strap in brand new condition. We also have a double deployment clasp. You can see it is a trigger release. You have to press both of those. Not being friction fit, it's better suited to keep this heavy and expensive watch on your wrist. Unexpectedly, the case flank as you can see right here, is actually satin finished, which contrasts nicely with all of the polished elements. A huge polished watch can be overwhelming, and you see that on a lot of the steel Blanc Pen 5015s. Here we have a combination of polish on the lug hoods and the bezel, and then satin on the mid case. We have a little Mont Blanc cap. It is the snow peaked cap of Mont Blanc. That's what that logo is. And we have a chronograph mono pusher that's coaxial with the winding and setting crown. Being a mono pusher, it resets when you stop it, and then you restart, press and hold, by the way, because this is a Salida SW510 base, which is based on the Valjoux 7750, you have an oscillating pinion clutch, and if you press and hold, you get almost no extraneous movement or jump with the 7750 based architecture. It's an upscale feature generally only seen on low volume, expensive lateral clutch chronos, but an oscillating pinion lateral clutch is highly desirable, and every Salida SW500 and Valjoux 7750 variant has it. It also has a cam system that's exceptionally well well tuned, so it has the crispness and the satisfying tactile experience of a column wheel. Now you can see there is a dramatically cambered and boxed sapphire. That's designed to evoke a plexiglass, as you would have seen on Minerva chronographs in the 40s and the 50s. And you might be asking, what is all this about Minerva chronographs? This clearly says Mont Blanc on it. Well, during the mid-2000s, Richemont, which owns Mont Blanc, bought Minerva out of Villeray and incorporated it into Mont Blanc as the Haute Horlogerie branch of the Mont Blanc watch manufacturer. You will see the Minerva Villeray manufacturer on the reverse of the watch, but Mont Blanc has two factories, and this one is actually made at the Le Loque factory that can make up to 100,000 watches a year, whereas the Minerva watches are generally made in a few hundred copies a year. That said, this is an awesome watch that cops the look without the expense and fragility. We have a lovely sunburst salmon center. We have concentric patterns inside the sunken sub-registers. We have a glorious frosted track underneath the hour indices and the bi-Arabic numerals. And then outboard, we have a 60-second scale with fractional seconds for reading the fractions of seconds. Surprisingly, and you're not going to catch it at first glance, but you might not have realized this is a loomed watch and you can see it in the dark. We have polished Dauphine-style hands, and then their sub-register and chronograph seconds hands are all blued. I can also appreciate the fact that the watch has a wonderfully ornate case back. Here's the thing about a Salida SW510, which is what's inside this watch. It's competent, but it's not interesting to look at. A good-looking solid case back is often worth more than a bad-looking display case back. So the watch goes through the Mont Blanc 500 hours test, which tests everything from chronometry to durability. And surprisingly for a dress watch, it's 50 meters water resistant, which is uncommon on dress watches. They tend to be 30 meters. You could see that it is part of the Mont Blanc Heritage Collection, which 
channels the heritage mostly of Minerva, because Mont Blanc as a watch brand has only existed since 1997, the movement in here is formally called the Mont Blanc MB2512. It is a Salida SW510. It's a unidirectional automatic winder with a 48-hour power reserve. It has a stop seconds or hacking function. It is a mono pusher. It beats weight 8 beats per second. It pivots on 25 joules and has a combination of a cam-based function selector and an oscillating pinion clutch. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.